I have difficult news to share with you this morning. Two people were injured on site overnight. Both were taken to hospital and neither are in critical condition. Crews instituted an immediate safety stop and work on the pipe has been halted. We currently have a team working with Alberta Occupational Health and Safety in that area and we expect that repair work on the feeder main will not resume before this afternoon. Our hearts are heavy at the city this morning with the news of these injuries. Workers have been on site 24-7 for the last week working hard for Calgarians and this is difficult news. As a community, we are all in this together in Calgary. I now must ask you to do more on your water conservation to support, to support those that are working to restore our safe water supply. Yesterday, our consumption rose again, this time by 9 million litres. That is taking us far over the safe threshold. And our supply is lower than it has been in the past few days. This morning, we are at a place where we don't have enough of a cushion for emergencies. Those emergencies include use in hospitals and in firefighting. I want you to think about a fire truck pulling up, facing a serious situation. They hook up to the hydrant and dribbles of water come out. This could be a reality if we don't start conserving more water. Calgarians, I need you to do more. And I know that's frustrating for you to hear, but there is still a real threat that we could run out of water. Every day since Saturday, water usage has been creeping up. It's that extra toilet flush, it's the not full dishwasher load, it's the desire to take a longer shower. All of that is making a big difference. And I know this is inconvenient, I know it's hard to hear that we have to do more, but we simply must. And as a reminder, we are still under stage four outdoor water restrictions. So there's absolutely no outdoor water use. And we are still under a fire ban, which extends to propane and gas fires as well. In 2013, the city immediately declared a state of local emergency. A state of local emergency is declared when there's a specific need to do something like enter private property or procure supplies very quickly. When a, st a state of local emergency is called, it allows for the mayor and council to work side by side with administration as the crisis information comes in and decisions are made. So in June 2013, the mayor was in a better position to provide constant and clear communication from the outset. While this water emergency is absolutely critical for us, we are not in an active state of local emergency. I know Calgarians still have many unanswered questions. After every emergency, we conduct a thorough post-incident review to understand what happened and why, and what actions we can implement in the future to improve our systems, processes, and practices moving forward. And this emergency is no different. Calgary, it is time to take more action. We must do better on our water conservation efforts. And I know it's hard but I also know that it will be even harder if we continue to trend upward in our water consumption, creating a situation where either the taps run dry or there's an emergency and our firefighters or nurses or doctors simply don't have the water they need to do their jobs. 